What does the clock say? A virtual lesson on time for second grade. Hey y'all, it's Trixie the Fox here, and I hear y'all are reviewing about time today, so I thought I'd be real sly and sneak in here while Miss T was out and just say hi, because I hear that y'all like to listen to the song, What Does the Clock Say, when you're learning about time. And that sounds very suspiciously like my theme song, What Does the Fox Say? So, I just wanted to say, hey, oh gosh, I hear her coming. I gotta go. It was really cool talking to you. Hey guys, I think I just saw a fox running around here. Has Trixie been in here again? That's sly fox. Either that or I'm just really tired. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna review time today. So I have a picture of Trixie here and I did put a link to what does the clock say on dojo just in case anybody would like to go back and review that song it's a lot of fun but um, we're going to go ahead and review time today so remember the clock has three hands but we focus on two of them in second grade we have the hour hand and we have the minute hand the hour hand is the shorter hand remember i told you you could remember that because the word hour is shorter than the word minute. And so that's kind of a way to remember that. Also, we think of the hour hand as the little brother who can only say the name of the number or the room it's in. And the minute hand is the big brother. And the big brother can count by five, so he likes to show off. So we start here and we say zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then back to zero again. Okay, so in this clock, the little guy is in the twos room, so we know it is two something. Now we are going to start at the 12 and count around by fives and see if we can figure out what time it is. So do this with me. Zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25 30. So it is 2 30. Do you remember that? Let's look at another one. What does the clock say? So once again, we're going to read the little guy first because remember, the little guy has to go first or he gets really upset. So the little guy is in whose room? He hasn't made it to the 11 yet, so he's still in the tens room. And if we start here and count by fives, zero. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So it is 10, 45. Does anybody remember what this is called? This is a colon and it separates your hour from your minutes. I would like for you to pause this video and see if you can tell me what time this clock says and then come back and check. Trixie Fox is meeting Riley Rabbit for lunch at the time shown on the clock. What does the clock say? Notice that both of the hands, the hour hand and the minute hand, are pointing at the 12. And because of this, that means the hour hand is in the 12's room. And since it's straight up, we have zeros. So 12 o'clock. This is our hour. Because we're straight up, Zero, zero, so 12 o'clock. Did you get it? What does the clock say? Take a minute, see if you can figure it out. Unpause the video and see if you get it right. So I can see that the hour hand is in whose room? That's right, the fours room. So it is four, now we're going to count by fives. Zero, five, ten, 15. So it is 4, 15. How did you do? What does this clock say? Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can figure it out and then come back and check your work. The hour hand is in whose room? The sevens room. Hasn't made it to the eight yet. So let's start and count by fives. Zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. 
So the time is 7.25. All right, so now we are going to talk about a.m. and p.m. Remember, a.m. is morning time. It is from 12 o'clock a.m., which we call midnight, until 11.59 p.m., which is right before lunchtime. P.m. is the afternoon or evening time. Do you remember that 12 o'clock p.m. is noon, which is when we eat lunch sometimes? And then this goes all the way to 11.59 a.m., which is right before midnight. So let's practice seeing if a scenario would happen in a.m. or p.m. Also remember, I told you a good way to remember this is since A comes first in the alphabet, it is in the morning. These are the things we do early. And then PM, because P comes later in the alphabet, is later in the day. If Trixie Fox is eating breakfast, would this be AM or PM? AM, very good, we do that in the morning. Trixie Fox goes to ballet class after school. So if she goes after school, would that be a.m. or p.m.? Fantastic, p.m. because it's later in the day. Trixie Fox reads a book before bed. A.m. or p.m.? Before bed tells us that it's p.m. Trixie Fox brushes her teeth before school. A.m or p.m. Great job, a.m. because if it's before school, it's still morning. Now it's time for today's challenge. For number one, I would like for you to write down the time the clock says. Number two, what does this clock say? Number three, what does the clock say? Number four, what does the clock say? And the next four are a.m. and p.m. times. So, you are going to write down, would you on number five watch a movie before bed? Is that a.m. or p.m.? Number six, walking the dog before school a.m. or p.m. Number seven, going to basketball practice after school. Would that be a.m. or p.m.? And number eight, cooking dinner. Would we do that in the a.m. or the p.m.? I'll be back with your IXL lessons. Good luck, and don't forget to send me pictures. Here are the IXL lessons that go with this virtual lesson. D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, and D7. Remember, even if you have already completed these lessons, it is great practice. But also keep in mind that 20 is plenty. Have a great day.